Harbor Creek High School students got the opportunity of a lifetime joining the small number of schools every year that make contact with the International Space Station. Jade Leah Burns was there and has our story. It was one small step for high school students, one giant leap for the Advanced Technologies Group. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is KC3STV. The club Advanced Technologies Group has been preparing for the last nine months to talk to Commander Andreas Mogensen, who is currently traveling at 17,500 miles an hour, 250 miles above our heads. A technical mentor that travels throughout the U.S. says Harbor Creek students are one of the most unique he has ever worked with. About three quarters of the students that you see on the stage today are already licensed amateur radio operators. So they, they've done this, they know how to do this. The aspiring future astronauts prepared 22 questions for when ISS flew overhead. The station is in range for about 10 minutes before it goes below the horizon. Students communicated with the International Space Station through these antennas that are located on the roof of the high school that they assembled themselves. It took a lot of like practice with a bunch of other satellites to do something like this. Uh, we had to set up the program for that too to make that work, which was um, a lot of work. It was definitely very challenging. Many students agree that radio is the unsung hero of space. I've grown up in an age uh, where we just have the internet and we really take other stuff for granted, like the radio, but it's honestly very important. Once um, Commander Mogensen responded, it was such a relief. Like, I'm still lightheaded like half an hour later. It's just wonderful, really. Jade Leah Burns, Jet 24, Action News.